From us tonight, Fox 10 News with continuing coverage of the abortion bill now working through the state legislature. It now moves on to the Senate after passing the House yesterday. Now, the measure is getting a lot of attention because if it becomes law, it would make it a felony for anyone performing an abortion unless the mother's life was in danger. There are no exceptions for rape or incest. However, our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby tells us if it does become law, it will be challenged almost immediately. Brendan? Yeah, Byron, to abortion opponents, uh, this bill strikes a blow for life. But to critics, it's an unnecessary and expensive piece of showboating. Randall Marshall, the executive director of the Alabama chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union, says his organization will seek to block it in court if Governor Kay Ivey ever signs it. Now, the point of the Alabama legislation is to challenge Roe v. Wade. That's the 1973 Supreme Court decision that legalized abortion in the U.S. But Marshall says that there are other laws that would get to the high court before this one. That includes one passed by the Alabama legislature in 2016 that bans a certain type of late-term abortion. We think this kind of a bill is doomed, and the end result will be that the Alabama taxpayers will end up paying the American Civil Liberties Union and others uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in attorney's fees uh, for this attempt. And Chris Rem, who's the co-chairman of the Mobile County Chapter of 40 Days for Life, says he's no expert on the cost of litigation. But I do believe that it's important that we stand as a state against abortion. I do believe that the life should be protected. And a half dozen states already have passed so-called trigger laws that outlaw some or all abortions in the event that the Supreme Court does strike down Roe v. Wade. Similar legislation has been proposed in Alabama and eight other states. And other states have passed laws banning the procedure after a fetal heartbeat can be detected. Now, if the current bill in Alabama were to pass the Senate and the governor signs it, it will be all eyes on the Supreme Court. Reporting live from the newsroom, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.